Huawei has finally confirmed the launch date for its much-anticipated Harmony OS next operating system, October 22. This is a major milestone for the company, as Harmony OS Next has been in development for several years, and it's finally ready to be released to the public. Interestingly, this date is also rumored to be the launch date for the Nova 13 series, so it could be a double event packed with exciting news for Huawei fans. Now let's dive into what Harmony OS Next brings to the table and why this launch is significant for both Huawei and the tech world. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of Harmony OS Next is that it marks Huawei's official move away from the Android open source project AOSP. With this shift, Huawei is no longer dependent on Android for its mobile operating system, as Harmony OS Next will rely entirely on its own in-house code and applications. This is a bold step, but one that Huawei has been preparing for, especially after the US sanctions that limited its access to Google's Android services. The developer version of Harmony OS Next was released last summer, allowing developers to start building apps and services for this new platform. According to recent reports, Harmony OS Next already supports over 10,000 apps, showcasing the rapid growth of its ecosystem. Huawei's goal is to provide users with a seamless and comprehensive experience from daily use apps to more advanced services, all without relying on Android. At first glance, Harmony OS Next might look quite similar to the current version of Harmony OS, but there are some fundamental differences under the hood. Most notably, Harmony OS Next will not support any Android apps. This could be a concern for some users who have relied on Android apps for years, but Huawei is betting big on its own ecosystem and the strength of Huawei Mobile Services, HMS. Instead of Android compatibility, Harmony OS Next is built on Huawei's self-developed microkernel operating system. This new system is based on the OpenHarmony open source core, which allows for more control, customization, and innovation in how the operating system works. Huawei's move to create its own microkernel is all about reducing reliance on third-party platforms and taking full control of the user experience. To support this shift, Harmony OS Next introduces the Arc compiler, which is designed to optimize apps specifically for Huawei devices. This means apps running on Harmony OS Next will be faster, smoother, and better integrated with Huawei's hardware. Coupled with HMS, Harmony OS Next aims to provide a robust alternative to Google's ecosystem, offering services like cloud storage, location services, and app distribution. With AFS continuing to grow, Huawei is clearly positioning itself as a major player in the mobile software space. The combination of the ARC compiler and HMS promises a seamless experience for users across a wide range of devices, from smartphones to tablets and beyond. One of the standout features of Harmony OS Next is its unified architecture. This new operating system isn't just for phones, it's designed to work across a variety of device types, from wearables to smart home devices. Everything works together effortlessly. The October 22 launch of Harmony OS Next represents a bold new chapter for Huawei. Moving away from Android is a significant step, but with a solid ecosystem, the power of the ARC compiler, and the growing reach of Huawei mobile services, the company is poised to make Harmony OS Next a success. Keep an eye out for the official launch. It could be the beginning of a new era in mobile operating systems.